Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Mini True and welcome back to Skyrim, where you join me here towards the very north of Saltsheim, where we've got a final few locations to look over, where, yeah, the comments have been hinting there might be some fun stuff hidden away. But, before we get to that, something else very useful from the comments, which is, apparently, there's still one kind of fairly big, interesting, and also, what's all of this? Oh, this is just spears. There's just huge numbers of spears that have all conveniently landed like like this. I swear this wasn't like this when I saved the game, but uh, it's like this now. Yes, apparently, back in the Skull Village, there's like one really, really good questy thing yet to be done that actually ties into Marak and whatever. So we should probably go and take care of that, because apparently if I actually progress with the main story anymore, that'll become locked away for a while or something, something, something. Anyway, we should probably just go to the Skull Village, because apparently stuff is happening there. Eor, you must be calm. I'm sure there's a good reason Baldor left us. So well, speak of the flipping devil, I've just flipping fast traveled and these are having a conversation. Baldor wouldn't leave without telling someone. Don't worry yourself over nothing, Dior. Do you want a head full of grey hairs before you've seen 40 winters? Right, so someone's gone a bit on the missing side. No, no, skip your stupid conversation. Me and you can have a better conversation. Hello! One of the Skull has gone missing. Okay, and who exactly would that be? It is Baldor Iron Shaper. As our only smith, Baldor is very important to the village. Okay, so we're solving a mystery. Let's discuss suspicious things that might be clues. I do not remember Baldor acting strangely. Although now that you ask... I did see something in the woods on the day he disappeared. I saw two elves in the far distance dragging something behind them. Hunters often visit our land, so I thought little of it. Okay, and a direction or a destination, please? South and west. If your road takes you that way, perhaps you could search for any sign of Baldor. The skull would be great. Alright. Search for Baldor Iron Shaper. Just, <laughs> this is just a pile of stuff I just had to drop because of weight limits, by the way. Just a bunch of stuff I didn't really need. Right, now do not speak to that guy under any circumstances. Because if I speak to him, I basically say, Hey, um, I've got a, like, god boyfriend, and he wants me to sacrifice you to his tentacle library. Then as a result, I won't be able to do any of this anymore for a while. So, what we should probably do is go find Baldor Iron Scraper, or whatever his name was. Sorry, I've already forgotten. And conveniently, because I've actually been exploring quite well, apparently I've already been to the location. Abandoned Lodge... Was that the place where there was supposed to be a merchant, but he didn't show up? I can't recall. Instead, we've got... Hello. Oh, it's the Thalmor. Intriguing. Well, in all fairness, it's never a bad idea to murder some Thalmor. So how about we just get a little bit of help out here, and we just start murdering these bastards. So, yeah, you know what? I think I can handle these guys. Lovely. Ooh, he's actually got a special spectral sword thing, Lardy Flipping da. And also someone standing behind me. I didn't even notice. Yeah, you know what? I think we can handle you bastards. Even on Legendary, you're not much of a problem. You go hunt down that one. I'll start searching for clues. There we go. A key just in case I need that. And a handwritten note. Right, here we go. I grow impatient with your lack of progress. If you cannot break the smith, I'll be forced to find a more capable interrogator. I expect your next report to contain more encouraging results. A. Now, do I know any member of the Falmore or any High Elves full stop whose name begins with an A? Hmm, can't remember off the top of my head, no. Right, so into the abandoned lodge. Question is, what's waiting for me? Yes. Yeah. Just have a little bit of a spy up ahead. Okay, one thing in there. And he is marked as alive, so the smith apparently has survived. Yes, I'm coming. I know you're there. I'm just doing this like, you know, properly and sensibly and all of that. Hello! And you're not dead, which is much better than I was expecting. I was really expecting you to be dead. Hello there! Outsider, I remember you. You're the one who freed the skull from the dark spell. Thank the old maker that you have come. These accursed elves have taken me from my home. And I'm going to guess from the name of the quest that it was because you know how to work with Stalhrim and they want to do that, yes. I do not know this word, Thalmor. If you mean the elves, they were trying to learn the secrets of forging Stalhrim. Called it! 
Their leader, an elf named Ankari, has a map. He says that it shows the location of a hidden source of Stolfrim. Okay, and no, we know what Stolfrim is, John. It's fine. Just tell me where he is. I'll murder him and go find the thing for you. They have a ship. They took me there and showed me the map. You will find it on the northern coast of the island. Please, do not let Ankarian make his weapons. Kill him or let him live. But take the map from him. It belongs with the skull. I will return to the village. When you have the map, please bring it to me there. And thank you. May the Allmaker bless your days. I'm going to be honest, I don't really like this guy. Because plenty of people around here have really lovely broad Yorkshire accents. And he doesn't. He's a bit boring by comparison. So as you said, a nice ship up north, I'm going to guess that is in fact the anchor symbol I've seen up. Oh yeah, it's exactly where we were going anyway. Fine, I may as well check out the broken tusk mine on the way, because otherwise I'll forget it's there and forget to check it later. And would you believe it's full of those little bastard reeklings. So fine, we'll just clear out some of you, clear out some of you, and just start doing a little bit of murdering. Lovely. Right, question is, what's here? We've got one chest in that same room I was just in a second ago. Nothing really worth bothering with there. Looks like it might just be heartstone deposits times maybe one or two. A little bit of stuff at the back. Oh yeah, it's just multiple heartstone deposits. Fine, nothing of note. Though, fair bit of money and jewellery and I never turned down a gold ingot or four because that's just free smithing ability. So, time to head northwards. That looks like a couple of... Wait, that looked like it was just a couple of... Oh no! It's cultists! la -dee da Well, just forward cast some help there. Finish you bastards off. Oh, I feel like you guys aren't going to be having a good day in a minute. Right, nice easy job against them. Now just to uh, Skyrim my way down the cliff here. Now, they said kill him or don't as long as you get the... Now, don't accidentally fall through the scenery, by the way. This, to me, feels like the sort of place I might want to badass it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to wait an hour to make sure that those guys have despawned. And now, it's time to enter badass mode. So, Blade of Woe, a bit of invisibility, we'll be good. Alright. Forward we go. I've muffled up. Everything's fine. So this is North Shore Landing, technically. And there's a couple of guys there, but my destination... You are trespassing here. I strongly suggest you move on. You have really bloody impressive eyes. Right... <laughs> I'm muffled, I'm invisible, I've got pretty much maxed out sneak and illusion, and he still just spotted me and doesn't even consider my invisibility worth commenting on. Very impressive. Look, I've got business with your leader, apparently. You will find him on the deck. Any hint of treachery, and your life is forfeit. Oh, there's no hint of treachery here. Ignore the fact that I showed up invisible and armed with a dagger. Absolutely none. Let's just put those away. <laughs> right, so we've got to have a chat with this chappy. Now, hopefully, because this has been an option, we don't need to go in and murder him, I might be able to resolve this peacefully. Just in case that's true, here we are. Amulet of Debella for a further 15 on the speech. If there's a speech check here, I'd like to be able to do it. Hello there. Leave at once. Do not test me, or I promise that you will regret it. No, 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 let's talk about the map, please. So you know my purpose here, then. I suppose you must have found that dullard of a blacksmith. Unfortunately for you, my mission here is also a secret. To protect it, I have no choice but to silence you. Now, give me one good reason that I should not kill you where you stand. Okay, I do indeed have a persuade option here. So, blacksmith won't talk, you're wasting your time. Leave your now, your life is forfeits. Okay. Let's see if we can intimidate this guy with my speech. Let's see if we can just chase him off. I can see that is no idle threat. Very well. We will depart the island once we have loaded the ship. No weapon is worth dying for. Not even a weapon forged from Starwing. Here, give this map to the blacksmith. I have no further need of it. Well, that was remarkably simple. 
And I am very clearly the good guy, because I didn't murder everyone. I was planning to murder everyone, but then I figured, you know what, why bother? And in a random strong box over here, we've actually got another one of the East Empire pendants. Very, very nice indeed. Right, back to this guy. Here's your map, but I'm guessing you want me to actually go and find you the source of style for him on your behalf. And yes, indeed, here you go. I know you faced great danger to bring this map to me. There are no words to tell how glad my heart is. Thank you, brave one. I name you Friend of the Skull, and I will trust you with the knowledge of forging Stahl. If you bring Stalrim here to my forge, you can use my tools to make what you will from it. Until our next meeting, Skull Friend. May your hunts always bring you game, and your crops grow tall and bountiful. Oh, I'm the Stahl Friend now. That's nice. So let's see if that actually does show up here. Is it in miscellaneous? No. Uh, you said you've just allowed me to make the stuff. Have you? Are you sure? I heard from Dior how you went in search of Baldor. That was very brave. And in fact, that's just the kind of courage I'm looking for. Right, so also a random old bloke has just walked up to me and my collection of spiders that I store on the ground here. Right, it's a bit meta there, game. Let me guess, you need me to go somewhere dangerous and do something dangerous for you. Quite right, quite right. This, however, is paying work. Allow me to explain. As a scholar of history, I've always found source time to be most intriguing. I've made many forays into the ancient ruins that cover the island. I've come to know those ruins so well, I can draw you a map for memory. That's why I noticed the new passage the moment I laid eyes on it. Okay, how about we continue this conversation, like, over there? Because, um, yeah, the blacksmiths keep talking to each other. Hang on, we can have a chat in a second. Right, now we've stepped over here a little bit. Uh, what new passage exactly? An old tomb, I think. It must have been opened by an earthquake that accompanied one of the Red Mountain's eruptions. I'd love to have a closer look. But those old ruins can be dangerous, and I'm no adventurer. I'll pay you to watch my back down there. I'll be heading back there soon. If you're interested, meet me at the ruins and we'll see what we can find. Now I'm off to pack for the expedition. Okay, there we go. That's what someone mentioned. Lost Legacy. So the blacksmith thing, that was just the introduction. This is the real business. Now, can't help but notice, I can't actually use the Stalthrim Forge or whatever. Do you need to do it for me or something? Yeah, tell me about forging it. Well, first you'll need to obtain some Stalthrim. And then you'll need to work it. Ah, wait, of course. So Stalthrim needs to be presumably just thrown into the smelter, same as anything else, I would assume. With skill and patience. It's very much like work in ebony. Yes. I'd say if you know how to forge ebony, you know everything you need to know in order to forge Stalthrim. Ah, right, so I actually need to take the ebony smithing um, perk before I'd be allowed to forge anything anyway. Fine, so even if I had something, I wouldn't be able to. But let's have a look, see at the smelter here. So smelt, 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 smelt. Do I need to actually make... No, actually, I can't make a refined Stalthrim by the looks of it. Okay, fair enough. So yeah, that's just not going to be an option until I'm actually uh, able to take the ebony perk, which I probably never will. So never mind, eh? Though I've been thinking I should probably look at how powerful I could theoretically make an elven sword. Because elven swords are not actually that bad in base damage. Not as good as some of the other stuff I've found, but I've actually got the elven smithing perk now. So... In theory, just because I can improve it so much better, an elven sword, for me, might actually be able to do more damage than, like, an ebony or a daedric sword. <laughs> it's actually possible just because of all the extra damage I can get from improving it so much further. I should possibly look at that at some point. I'll do so if I remember to. And that's interesting. Varlok's tomb has just appeared. Now, he did mention a new passage, and I literally worked my way up the coast checking all the locations around here. There's no way I didn't respond to a barrow. So, that is a location that just wasn't on the map before. That's actually now just newly appeared. So, probably the fastest way to get there would be, yeah, Thursk Mead Hall is kind of on top of a hill. Fast travel there, and we should just be able to get down to Varlock pretty easily. Yep, as I suspected, nice and simple, nothing in the way there. In fact, actually, it's pretty much flat. So, we've got, wait, what? Wait, where? Hang on. It's... 
I need to find my way round to whatever it is the game's trying to indicate to me right now, because um, it's telling me to go underground. Am I, am I supposed to be underground? Hang on. How do I how do I get in? This doesn't seem to have, wait, what? Ah, wait. There's a little open passageway down here. Okay, in we go. So I'm guessing that previously this was just all filled in. This has only just become available, which is possibly worrying because it might have just opened up in response to something I've done. Because I'm the new thing here. Right, into Varlock's tomb we go. So, apparently Tharston, or whatever his name is, is already here, so I need to speak to him first, though actually, very first off, let's see what's going on. Nothing yet. That looks like undead. This tomb has been hidden for, well, who knows how long. Many centuries, I would think. I've had a look around, and the only interesting thing I've found is this inscription here, and a switch below it. Okay. Inscription here and a switch. Now, I'm not sure if you can read the dragon language, but this seems to be a riddle of some sort. A sacrifice will bring you closer to that which you seek. I wonder what it means. Oh, um, it means bad news for you, Farston. Because <laughs> if this thing wants a sacrifice, then it might be me or you. Corpses strewn about on the floor here. Hang on, hang on. Just, just chill out for one second. Let me just get a torch out here so we can see what's going on. Yeah, there we are. All right, just some undead, and also lava or something. I wonder if this fire pit has anything to do with the riddle. You go ahead and see what you can figure out. I look around and see if I can find anything of use. Does the game just want me to murder this guy and toss him into the fire pit? Because I'm totally fine with doing that if that's what the game wants. I'm feeling like that's where this is going. Like, you know, a sacrifice will help you out, and here's a fire pit that I'm just going to conveniently walk backwards and forwards close by to. I feel like that's where we're going with this. But before we do that, let's just have a little looksy round here. Because there is clearly, yeah, other stuff going on here. Other stuff like, yeah, steps leading up to... Well, that's blocked off. Hmm... All right, let's just have a little looksy round before we go murdering people. I probably can't murder anyway. It's probably flipping essential. Yeah, we got just more gates over here. And then if I was to... Ah! Okay. There's also stairs down in case I either fall into the water or want to go and have a little swim. And up here... Ah! This way is open. Ah, this way is open because this is the way we actually came in in the first place. Fine. So that does not help much. So yeah, we've got a way up over there, blocked off. A way out over there, blocked off. Stairs down. Okay, well, let's activate the handle. Ah! We're supposed to be dropping him into the fire, got it. Um, so, if you would like to just go and stand on top of that, I will happily drop you in. Though actually, we got these guys. Can we just actually... Okay. Let's just actually try dropping in these guys... No. Dropping in these guys first, please. Here we go. Let's see if we can just sacrifice one of the undead before we go killing, you know, living people. Ah. Well done. Looks like we can head in either direction. Since you seem to know what you're doing, why don't you lead the way? Right. So we've got actual flipping puzzles going on here. Well, this way's less stairs, so let's start with that and work in this direction. Are you coming with me, by the way? You're just chilling out here. Right, he is actually coming with me. <laughs> I'd stay here, to be honest. This is probably going to be dangerous. Yes. Yeah. Let's just quickly check what's ahead as well. Right, we've definitely got still sleeping undead, which kind of works for me. So if they're still sleeping, I can take them out before they wake up. That shouldn't be an issue. Right. So I've got my invisibility and my hand out. Easiest way will be to take these guys out before they wake up. Because otherwise they can be very annoying to... Oh. Are you... Oh. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Down you go. And up. No, 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 no. Down you... Oh. Death Lord can go down nice and quickly, almost anyway. Right, finish you off just in case. Right, well, I finished off a couple of them nice and fast. Also, where's he? 
Where's what's his face? Does he just not? Oh, he just doesn't bother getting involved. Great. Well, actually, there is something I want to try. New upgraded foos. And it did not disintegrate either of you. That is a shame. Right, couple more undead brings us to a new riddle with a strange pillar. Three pillars. Other than that plaque, there doesn't seem to be anything else worthy of note. Let's see what the inscription says. All men must die, often by their own means. Sounds rather grim if you ask me. The inscription must be a reference to these pillars. Okay. All men must die by their own means. And we've got... Three pillars surrounding a central one. Perhaps they're connected somehow. And perhaps you need me to shoot something because you've they just given me a free ones. bow. Okay. So... That goes... Flashy red. Okay. Do they all just match? That also goes flashy red. Oh, hang on. When I hit it... Did that just turn around? I swear that just turned around. Right. And hit the third one. Hmm. Are they all flashing at this point? Okay. That is not the solution yet. Instead, we've got... Three pedestals. Staff of... Ooh. Okay. Sword. Staff. Bow. Right, I see. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. You want me to hit these things with the right thing. So that one's correct. It's been hit with the sword and thus has gone red. Now this one, presumably therefore, wants to be shot with the bow and goes green. And this one wants to be hit with a staff. Lovely. Very nice of the game to give me all these things, just in case I didn't have them with me. So staff of flames. And that should be it. Yes? There you go. Now let's see what mysteries await us in the next room. Excellent. Job flipping done. This is a fun dungeon. There's good puzzles. Thank you, comments. This is a good area. Except, ooh, mine. We've got ourselves... Ah! We've got trouble. The sort of trouble I shouldn't try and deal with with a staff of flames because it's literally worthless. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is that is so bad. Then I suppose it is basic flames, yes. Right, finish these guys off nice and quick. Probably prioritize that. No, don't go for that guy. He's only an archaeologist. Leave him alone. No, come, come back over here. Come over here, you. Right, there you go. Now we can probably take out the Death Lord. Sorry, I didn't mean to, like, drive him into this room. That was sort of a mistake. Right, where's he gone? Right, hello. Avoid. Never mind. Just get slammed into a door as well. That's fine, too. Yeah, well, two can play at that game, and I've got the upgraded Foos. Foos? Yeah, you know what? Back inside your own crypt, please. And now we can get a couple of nice, easy hits against you. And if you want to just keep hitting me, that's fine. I'll just keep basically using that to grind up my restoration. So life is good. And yeah, if you back away, he goes back over to the bow for the minute, which is very good, because him changing weapons basically just distracts him for a few seconds. He does a lot less damage when he's got his bow out. Right, job done. Now, what have we got here? Let's have a closer look at these rooms. These rooms have big bits. I believe I can translate the inscription. The writing describes a guardian who defeated someone named Mirat. In fact, if I'm reading this correctly, it says that Mirat was a traitor. Most interesting. There's probably an exit through one of these sarcophagi. Let's get moving. I can't help but notice. Yeah, Mirak, traitor, Varlock's tomb. Um, who's Varlock? Because typically, when it's called someone's tomb, they show up and try and beat you with a big stick. So, who's he? And also, this is logically what? Stage 3 of Cycling? That's the only one I haven't actually maxed out right now. And... No! Loyal Battle Fury. Right. Well, that's interesting. And now that I've read that... Farlock... Barlock normally would show up at this point. Like, you know, you go read a word, then you turn around and he appears behind you. It happens in the very first dungeon, everything. All right, well, not on this occasion. We'll probably run into him on the way out if I had to guess. Ah, wait, of course. We're not done. This is only half the dungeon. Because there's another half over here. 
Okay, so that's where Varlock's gonna be. Got it. Also, what was that, uh, no, not Powers, Shout. What was that one there? Battle Fury. Your Thorm enchants your nearby allies' weapons, allowing them to attack faster. Ah! Okay, so in case you're not an illusion specialist, it's basically the illusion spell Courage that you can upgrade up to, what is it, Rally or whatever the top tier is. Yeah, in case you don't actually specialise in illusion, you still access that magic, because very often Shouts just replaces magic in case you're not studying it. Right, just a quick Vas Ra, or whatever it is. People are saying it's not Vas. It sounds a lot like Vas. The female voice actress really sounds like she's saying Vas. And we've got something interesting going on up here. One lying down thing, four standing up things. Right. But first, a riddle to solve. Farston, if you would do the honours, please. Continue along the path. Don't tread where you've been. Interesting. Ah, well, that seems pretty simple. You just stay here. No, 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 don't. Don't step on it. Let's just hope something good happens when you get to Okay. Well, that was fairly simple. But yeah, we know what's happening here. These things are opening up. And I'm guessing the lying down one is Varlock. So uh, let's get ready for some help here. If you're a named character, that's probably going to be trouble. Okay, lovely. Help is pressed. Oh, waking up. Actually, you're just a white. That's not a problem at all. So you can go down nice and fast. Uh, another one over there. And oh. No, actually, well, hang on, no, you're a death lord. You're a white. That's not really a problem. Okay, actually, no. No go. Oh, sorry. 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 I accidentally just whacked you with a stick. I'm very sorry about that. On the plus side, he does appear to be immortal. So that is very convenient. So everyone just wail on the death lord until he eventually gets tired. I'll finish off the white, finish off the death lord too. Right. He wasn't in here. So, in which case... So, do they always have that weird green pattern on them? I can't remember. Right. Another chest. In a very prominent position. 13 gold, nothing major. Is this going to be the second word of that shout by any chance? And, yep, yeah, Battle Fury. I'm guessing this is just the Battle Fury Temple. Now, tell me more. wonder if the Guardian was himself a man or a dragon. It looks like a secret entrance opened up along the wall. You lead the way. Fine. Inspiration to man and dragons. I'm going to guess that is young Mirak. Before later, he became a traitor. Okay. All very interesting. Right. Crack on anyway. And that brings us back into here. The main room. Okay. Question is, how do we get over to where we clearly want to... Oh. Tomorrow, Lord. Hang on. Oh, just mine. Okay, fine. You just died over there. Question is, yeah. How do we get into the last... Just fell into a thing. It's fine. Give me a sec. Luckily, I memorized where the steps were earlier, so everything's okay. Yeah, now we've got this here room. The problem is... This room... Hmm... How do we get in there? Well, just in case it just wants another sacrifice, I'm just going to move another zombie onto the flames. Let's just kind of just put another zombie down there, see if that does anything. And no, no progress from that. But yeah, how do we get over to that final clue to get over there? Which is blatantly where I'm supposed to be going next. Because I do not see anything in this room that I can utilise. Except for one rather curious thing. There are keyholes on these eyes. You lack a required item. Right. I think I may have missed something somewhere. Hang on, I need to go check all the corpses here. It's possible the Death Lords were carrying half a claw each or something. Oh yeah, they totally were. Right, so we've got half a claw here. Need to check all the corpses a bit more thoroughly, that's all. Which means I'll put good money, the other half's going to be on the Death Lord at the end of this section on this side. And there it is. Yeah, the thing is, we've actually just done, uh, yeah, so many flipping Death Lords over the past, like, 10 or 20 parts. 
I've stopped even considering them interesting enough to bother looting. Right, good, found them. So whoever this Varlock is, he is indeed rather well guarded. In you go, and in you go. And just give those a wiggle. Right, has that opened up a bridge? No, we're going to need to solve the clue for the bridge. Go on then, do the honours. Stay your course, to idle is to die. Well, at least it's straightforward. There appears to be a switch of some kind here. I'll just stand over here while you flip that switch. You know what? That is probably safest. Right. Okay. And oh, oh. Okay, it's... You've just got to follow the path and presumably follow it quickly. And wh where's that? There it is. Okay. I assume it fades over time. There we go. Jump. Yep, fine. And because I made it over, there is now a lovely straight path. Right, well that was good. Whew. Okay, in we go now, and also... Side room. Ah, Skyrim door. Fine. Just gonna find ourselves. One, handle. And that's... Oh, same thing again. Bloody hell. Uh, well, just stay one behind so you see where it goes. Okay, go. 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 And over. Okay, lovely. And that creates a solid permanent path for him to follow me. Very, very good indeed. Right, so they want to reuse that puzzle a couple of times then. Gotcha. Except, ah, little shades down there. Haven't seen you lads in a while. In fact, if I recall correctly, last time we saw you was inside the tomb that uh, Mara sent us to clear out. Marvellous. Now, can I just actually send some friends down there to take care of this for me? Or is that water deep and you're just walking on the top? No, actually. It would appear to be fine. Lovely. So, you guys just basically murder the Corrupted Shades for me. Honestly, I don't think I need to get involved. Yeah, and in fact, these guys are doing a beautiful job just straight up murdering them. Corrupted Shades were never that tough. Still, down we go. May as well actually join in. I shouldn't have jumped. I just did myself some damage there. Right, hello. And, oh, hang on. Oh, blimey. Okay, I'm just one-shotting these guys. The fact that I just actually came down here makes me feel like I didn't actually make the right decision there. I feel like I need to be staying up this entire time. But go on then. <laughs> yeah, give it a go. Give it a go. Oh, it didn't work out. Did not work out for you. Not one little bit. <laughs> this is legendary difficulty, by the way. Marvellous. I'm not even, like, that massively overleveled. Like, my level is 60-something. Like, there are special events that only trigger when you're level 80. So it's not like... Oh... Oh, come on, just a bit closer. bit closer, I can probably murder ya. Uh, but, I'm guessing, I need to stay up top in order to hit a switch. Right, okay. Well, we've cleared out these bastards. Let's head back up top and see what I'm missing. Ah, and there's the boarded up door. Marvellous. So, boarded up door. Open that. Back up to the top. But now this thing actually works correctly. Because I actually managed to get over it. Uh, I'm guessing I just missed a switch. Somewhere in here. Oh, no, I just missed a door. There's a door over there as well. Oh, yeah, right there. Just didn't see that. That That's absolutely fine. So there, there. Oh, it's getting a bit faster. It's definitely getting a bit faster. Oh, yeah, that that's getting faster now. And just keep on with it. Keep on with it. Keep on with it. Go, go, go. Job done. Right, so that's now a permanent bridge for him as well. Yeah, we just want to stay up top, don't we? That's totally what we want. Uh, before we go that way, though, that is... Ah, that's just barred so you can get back up the other way as well. You just had a common soul gem for no well-explained reason. And straight on to the next. Right, and go, go. Oh, blimey. Yeah, they're getting faster. They're getting faster at this point. Okay, it's fine. I just about got it. And boom. Job done. Right, so that also shapes up for him. And we've got our way to, presumably, the Varlock room. Ah, and I do have a... I hope I've still got that claw. <laughs> hope I bothered reclaiming it and also kind of merging it together into one. Well, I've got the left half. And I've got the right half. I can't actually see what the pattern's supposed to be. Um... It doesn't actually, like, normally it says on the thing. And yet, hmm. 
Okay. The stuff on the wall is just generic. That stuff's always there. So in which case... Ooh. Right. How exactly do we solve this? There must be a... A clue somewhere. Ceiling, wall, door itself. Because it's not actually, as far as I can tell, written on the claw. Like, you shove the claw in. Let's get a good close look at it there. Um... Hmm. I don't see anything. That's just generic patterning. That's... Hang on, just, just zoom, zoom in again. I do not see the solution there. Hang on, there's three things that need to be solved and... No, this doesn't help because this is just a generic pattern. I was wondering if maybe the pattern would be on each of the things in the right order. Right, Thurston. Tell us the combination. Ah, luckily he can just tell me the answer. Good, good. Ah, yes. Here's something. The first one has to do with a breeze. Or maybe it's wind. The second one mentions the night sky and the moon. And the third has something to do with fire. It also seems to mention scales. Right. That's so, do. that's not too difficult. Though, actually, hang on. When it says one, two, three, does it count from the top or from the bottom? Well, it's going to be from the top, because if it was from the bottom, Dragon would already be in the right place, and it never is. So, you want wind, then night sky, and then also moon. Okay, so wolf, and then, uh, yeah. So, you want eagle, then you want wolf, then you want dragon. That should be about right. In it goes. And beautiful job done. Well, I'm glad I brought a translator with me on this particular occasion, because otherwise this would not have ended well. Right, on we flipping go. And we must be getting close to Varlock, whatever a Varlock is these days. Except the chain is... Oh, okay, apparently I can just reach for and grab the chain. Well, that was bloody easy. Oh, Varlock's in here then. Hang on, we just need to check what else is in here. I've already got over a whisper set. Just him, apparently. Right. Probably prepare for a bit of a tough fight here. Let's actually get a shield going on. Because there's no way he's not... Oh! What? What did I just... Oh, right. It, it's that stuff. Also, he's going to wake up. Right. Hello! Oh, you're a dragon priest. Okay. That's not too surprising, really. Are you going to be using magic, by the way? Because, like, if you are, I'm really resistant to that. And you guys love using magic. Oh. Sorry, is your entire plan just to lead me into your fire traps? Because this is the second priest in a row I've run into who just didn't bother attacking. Is he planning to attack at some point? Hello? Yes? No? No, he decided against it. Interesting. Uh, and also, oh, oh, yeah, search him. He might have a unique... Oh, he doesn't have a mask on him. Oh, well, that's slightly disappointing. They normally have masks on them. Also, wasn't he just called, like, Varlock the Jailer? Have I just killed Mirax Jailer? Because if I have, I feel like that's a bad thing. Also, give me the third word of battle cry, please. Lovely. Anything else good to be got out of this? Nordic arrows, gold. Dragon scale gauntlets. The only dragon scale thing I already have. Uh, Stalhrim light boots of the ox. That's actually... Pretty good, actually. 45 extra carry for only two weight. And other than that... No. Slightly disappointing. What's my actual reward for all of this? Because, yeah, he didn't have a special thing on him. But anyway, let's have a chat to you. How amazing. A real dragon priest. In all my years as a historian, I never thought I'd see anything like that. I suppose that was Valak. He must have had this entire place built for him so that he could maintain his vigil, even beyond death. I really feel like I shouldn't have just killed him. I feel like he was maybe keeping Marak in check. Indeed. I knew that the dragon priests were thought to have been powerful men of great will, but I had no idea. Well, I suppose I've seen everything I came for, and you kept up your end of the bargain. I promised payment, and here it is. Now I think I'll spend some more time studying this word war. What a book this will make. All right. A thousand gold is apparently my reward. I would have preferred a nice, unique, uh, nice, unique mask. But actually, I was really expecting one because there's been a couple of masks in this. And one mask gave me, like, bonuses to all my frost spells. One mask gave me bonuses to all my shock spells. So 
I was kind of expecting this guy in the fire room to give me a mask that gave me bonuses to all my fire spells, but apparently not, I suppose. Alright, fine. Also, far as I can tell, no Skyrim door, so a rare instance of actually having to walk all the way back through the temple. Though, as it's all like this and very, very pretty, I suppose I don't mind that much. Right, back up top, and as I already did a couple of locations up north, there's barely anything left up there now, I may as well wrap that up this part and just see what else is up there on the north coast. Because by my reckoning, it should be... Yeah, appears to be... Oh, there's just a skeleton freaking out there. Yeah, what looks like two or three caves and whatever one of them is. Okay, fine, that shouldn't be a big deal. This one looks like it's actually going to pull me down a bit. I should be in about the right position already. I just need to get down over there. Hang on, so this one is dropping us down. Castle Karstag Caverns. Okay. Castle. Castle Caverns. Alright, let's give it a look. Now what do we have over here? The answer is, ah, it's just a bunch of the little bastards. Fine, well let's just go chop them down. See what we got going on here, but yeah. They don't strike me as the building a castle, lads. I feel like they're just squatters who moved in later. Oh, hello. We've got ice doors here. That's new. I don't recall ever seeing an ice door before. This isn't just a cave. This is... Yeah, well, as I would have expected. An old building that's just been frozen over. But it didn't used to be caves. And also... I'm not the first person to go hunting here. There's dead reeklings. Okay. What is going on here? And not just reeklings either. That's... I know something big. A hawk or a mammoth. I feel like I've accidentally stumbled across the freezer section, actually. What is all of this? Coin purse. A few bits and pieces. Skulls or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Something is going on here. Somebody still lives here. And they're not a reekling because they're murdering the reeklings. Okay. Deeper and deeper. What is going on in this place? This is something I haven't seen before either. Some form of weird ice magic lamp. That is new. Okay, well, we got ourselves a couple of you bastards down there. I'm just going to leave that to you, lads. You just get on with that, deal with all that for me. Looks to me like the way forward is up this way, or maybe just a side room. I'll keep exploring. Yeah, you know what? I'll just leave my Atronax to take care of one of you totally just popped out of somewhere here. Yeah, thought so. Right, my Atronax can deal with the boar and whatever down there. I'm going to crack on a bit deeper into the main area. And we're going outside to Castle Karstag Courtyard, apparently. Where we've got a few problems waiting for us, including one of those annoying boar things who's genuinely quite difficult to deal with. Uh, let's just, okay, finish off all his friends first, because they're not properly dressed as warriors, they're just scouts or whatever. Right, and that means now we can all just dogpile the mounted reekling, who is weirdly tanky, given he's just a reekling sitting on a pig. But he is very tough. Right. So we've come out here. And we've got ourselves... Skeleton. Okay. Skeleton... Is that a... Hmm. Skeleton possibly missing bits. Okay. Very well. Uh, if I had to guess then... We need to do something with that. And what have we got here? Master locked. Fair enough. Right, crack that open. And I've just actually managed to get myself a shortcut. And this shortcut is... Okay, I don't know. So I'm just going to leave myself a custom marker here to make sure I can find my way back nice and easily. Except I can't because you're not set a custom destination too close to you. Fine, just remember it's exactly south of the Castle Karstag Ruins. Next up, just Skyrim my way up a cliff here in order to get round to... Ah! Why do I get the feeling that this is where the map would have led me had I bothered to actually look at the thing? 
Fine. So if you want Stalgrim, this is where you get it. Lovely. And with both of those locations cleared out, that leaves me with... Yeah, get the dragon out of the way. We got one last thing over here to the north. I believe this is, potentially rather tragically, uh, yeah, the last new location that we are going to discover in this entire playthrough of Skyrim. Because after this, there'll be nothing left. Well, technically, yeah. there'll be loads on the map I haven't actually bothered to go and see yet. But I don't intend to make this a 100% playthrough. In Skyrim, that would be truly a thing of madness. So we're just New Vegas our way down a cliff until I find something. And here we go. It's got to be around here somewhere. Hello. What's that down there? A couple of hawkers. And there. And there. And Glacial Cave. Right. No trouble with you bastards. In we go. Now, yes. give yeah. a quick vas here. And looks to me like that's just a handful of you little bastards hiding underground trying to ambush me. Look, I can... I can literally see you there. Okay, don't even try it, all right? I know you're there. So maybe just don't even bother with this stupid flippin' ambush. And this leads us to... Oh, is this apparently it? This is just them. Them in a room. Just some stuff and... Oh. Ah! Speak of the devil. Carstag. Apparently, that's his skull. And his skeleton was looking a bit on the skull side. I just wasn't sure whether there was like a skull or a helmet there. Right. Well, I think I know how these two locations fit together then. Marvellous. Just double check there's nothing else around here further towards the east. Nope. I'm pretty sure we've cleared out the north coast there. So now just to return Karstag's skull to Castle Karstag, which I'm assuming Karstag will logically, he'll be quite appreciative of that because I've literally brought him his like head back. So, those bastards already cleared out of the way. Throne. Activate his throne. Yep. There we go. And now I have returned your head to you. And... Right. He wasn't appreciative. As it... Oh, blimey. Oh, what? Wait, what? Can he... Can he... Okay. He can... He can perma-stagger me. Right. Okay, he just killed me. He just... Right, so, whatever a car stag is, it turns out it's pretty damn badass. Okay, let's get the bodyguards ready to go here, and then it's time to be prepared. Because apparently he's going to show up and be a dick about this. Well, that's fine, I've got a plan. Let's give that dragon aspect thing a go. In fact, actually, apparently I look really badass while I'm doing it. No, no, go into third person. Right, weapons away. Now, let's just give this a little go here. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's pretty sweet. And apparently, I'm now, like, super awesome and badass, so that's good. So, prepare that. And that actually, like, has zero recharge on it, so that's fine. Now, if I wanted to get him down, if I wanted to be as strong as I can be, ice form and prepare for my ultimate weapon. Stalthrim sword. Ridiculously powerful sword. Alright, let's get this done. Activate his throat. Now, be ready for him. Where is he? Where is he? At this time... Oh, blimey. Right. He's... He's a carstag and he's... Oh, he's, he's a frost troll giant. Whatever. Right, okay. Guys, keep him distracted for me. Keep him distracted. Oh, he's... Okay. He is not joking around. And he can just basically shout me into a corner and then he can one-shot me. Because at that point he just perma-staggers me. And by the time I... Wait, what the... Wait, what? Did... Did my dragon aspect just naff off to go and take care of him by himself? That... That would be interesting. Okay, let's consider what he's doing here and how I can help myself out with this. He's clearly using frost of some description. So, if I could resist frost, do I happen to have any resist frost? I don't think I've got anything of resist frost. That's a concern. What I do have, however, is... No, 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 over in powers, uh, I've got dragon skin. Now, I'm guessing if he's just basically using a version of frost cloak, then as a result, basically, that's just magic. So, I can just basically eat that like that. That should be doable. 
Yeah, that, that works. Right, activate that. Okay, yeah, I think I'm taking damage a lot slower from his ridiculous frost cloak right now. And when he just... Okay, he can't do that all the time. And my dragon aspect has indeed just naffed off. Right, interesting. Okay, other thing we've just learned as well. He appears to be able to resist some form of magic. So I need to not be using the massive Stalkerim sword. Because in base damage, it's not actually that good. My best weapon in terms of base damage is Dragonbane. So it would be better to go over to that. Now, can I at least freeze him? And... Oh, no, no, sorry. I need to actually reset that as well. Right, ice form. And no. He is resistant to ice form. He's resistant to some forms of magic. We are slowly getting him down, but oh, blimey. When he activates that ability, you're basically screwed up. Wow. How do you know when he's about to use that ability? Because whenever he does that, he's screwed. This is going to take a few uh, a few attempts, I think. It's just going to be very slow wearing him down. I mean, what other advantages do I actually have that I could theoretically use? I've got Dragon Bane. If I'm not casting, I could have my shield out for a bit of extra healing. That's true. Um, oh, one thing that I save up and say I'm going to use when I need to, but never actually do. Warrior potions. What do I have in terms of warrior potions? Uh, ooh, one-handed weapons do 30% more damage. It's not much, but it might give me a bit of an edge. The problem is... Okay, when he does that, back away, back away, back away. Just run. Just just flip and run at that point. And uh, don't, don't accidentally fall into that. Stay away. Keep your bloody distance, please. Ah, that's a localized thing. He's just casting a localized blizzard. Also, I think my friends are dead at this point because that spell when he casts it is ridiculous. Right, keep him busy. Now get out the grand healing and just basically, yeah, focus on healing myself. What else do I know about him right now? Well, oh, blimey, he can heal. He's healing. He can... Wait, Ice Ray? Is he summoning friends? Well, in all fairness, I can't exactly, you know, chastise him for that. I'm doing the same thing. Oh, he's totally got all my guys out the way already. He's healing up. He's actually healing. Okay, just get some more friends down and then... Wait, what's going on? Why are there uh, arrows going? Wait, who's shooting arrows at me? Okay, try and heal up here. Try and heal up. Oh, I'm starting to regret legendary difficulty. Um, so... His blizzard spell basically as good as kills ya. We're getting the ice wraiths down at least, which is good. Once you actually, yeah, go in for a bit, then at least we've got a chance to do some damage. But when he uses his freezy spell, I think he heals as well as it doing ludicrous damage to me. And then once that's done, he basically... Oh, blimey! Okay, right, okay. Need, I need better, stronger help. I'm not sure there is stronger help than what I've got right now. Okay. Frost Dianetronite may not be that good, but it's possibly resistant to his magic. So how about we toss in a couple of them? Because they might actually be able to resist his stupid, stupid spell. I'm going to say that. I think he's just killed one. I'm pretty sure one's dead there. Right, okay. Well, keep your distance from his stupid, stupid thing. Yeah, he is just shattering them. He is just flipping, shattering them. And now I... I'm barely touching him. I'm barely... Bloody hell. Right. Well, how do we deal with you? I'm, I'm not sure. Right, back away because he's probably about ready to do his thing again. Then he... Then what did he do? Then suddenly there was... Wait, what? Then there was... Oh, that was a mounted reclaim. Right, okay, never mind. Right, my dragon aspect's still attempting to get a few light knocks in on him. Uh, but he's got to be about ready to... I'm already down to half health. He just does damage so fast. Uh, I just need to keep out my healing ability. Uh, but yeah, these guys are not resistant to his standard mace attack, but... Bare minimum. Oh no, don't accidentally go through the load zone. Right, I need to stop him healing. How do I stop him healing? Does he just have, I think he just has natural health regen rather than healing. So we've just got to be constantly laying damage on him, but... If I'm standing next to him and he does that, does it instant... It doesn't instant kill me, but if it happens to be in a position where I keep taking damage, I'm permissed until I die. Uh, oh, no, actually. I'm just far enough back at the minute. I'm okay. Uh, by which I mean all my friends are dead and he's actually... How can I stop him healing? 
How do I do that? If this were Mass Effect, I'd warp him, but it's not, so I can't. Also, that thing is not on a cooldown, because he just basically activated that twice in a row. So he can just basically activate that thing, and when he's activating that thing, I cannot touch him. He can just do that whenever he flipping wants, as far as I can tell, because he's just... Yeah, he just activated that three times in a row. And while he's in there, I can't get up to him. And this is... How the hell do you beat this thing? Right, I think I might at least have a moment when I might have a chance. Or does he only do that if you kind of are casting conjurations? And as a result, it's his way... Okay, yeah, I think he does. I think he only does that if he actually gets surrounded. Maybe he doesn't do it if you don't actually have them. Okay, well, let's give it a go, because I've got one last trick up my sleeve. Right, let's just go in for some slow time right about now. But this is not going to last that long. Slow time, even at its best, only lasts for about, I don't know, 15 seconds or something. 15 seconds of slowed time, which would be like, I don't know, five seconds of real. So... Okay, we've actually done some real damage to him, which is nice to see. Then he's going to attack me with this thing. That's... No! No, 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 no. I'm happy to use potions on this occasion. Right. Ultimate healing just to basically get him down. Okay. Now just keep tossing lads at him and just sort of hoping. Now if I'm... No, he's about to do the thing. Right. Toss some lads back in. But now just watch his health, watch his health, see what he's actually going on there. Stay around the outside of his stupid, ridiculous blizzard. And it just, it's ridiculous. That spell is the stupidest thing imaginable. It just flipping chews through Moira's like nothing. Right, up we go, up we go, up we go. I'm not ready to actually use that again, but we can get him. We can do some more damage. At the bare minimum, I'm stopping him being at full health right now. I need to be standing in a position where... Oh, yeah. I need to be standing in a position where in the event he does that stupid spell, I'm far enough back I don't get one shot by it. I think he just killed me anyway. Yeah, totally. Possibly you've got a chance if you're a Nord, and thus you get the natural 50% frost immunity. Actually, wait, hang on. Can I just take his... Oh, no, I can't just take his skull away again. I really wish I could just take his skull away again. That would be much easier. Oh, also, he's got the frost giant ability to basically just kick you into the sky. Lovely. Ooh, plan. Okay, what if I was to put Marked for Death on him? Marked for Death? might be able to counteract his healing. So at least we can start making some form of progress against him. No, it's not. He can totally just heal off Marked for Death. That is nowhere near enough to weaken him at all. Right, I've made an executive decision, which is um, I'm going to basically rule the entire world and Karstag can have his bloody frozen courtyard. I don't actually care enough about it. So have a good life. It's lovely to have met you, kind of. Moira probably doesn't agree, to be honest. Wait, what's he doing now? Hello? You plan to actually... No, no, I thought he might have just got glitched somewhere. That would have been nice, but no. No, he is not. Right, bye. Have... Oh, bloody hell. No, no, have a nice life. Bye, I'm off. See ya. Right, I just went to look him up in the Skyrim wiki because bloody hell. And yeah, apparently that's like, you know, the hardest fight in the game or something. <laughs> And I'm playing on Legendary Difficulty. So I've decided that me and him can just live and let live. That's fine. We can just live and let live. He can have his courtyard. I can have literally everything else. Because really I should probably be focused on the other thing I ought to be taking care of. Which is there's this guy called Mirak. Something, something, something. I forget. But anyway, I should probably be taking care of that instead. And there's one other thing as well, which is I haven't actually finished with my little excavation. I'm still waiting for the courier to show up for the fourth and final stage of that. So, let's just see if we can get him to trigger by making time pass by just fast travelling from one side of the map to the other. Aha! Speak of the devil! I think that's just the guy. Let's see here. I've got another letter from Rallis, but this is the last thing I'm delivering for him. That place is just too much for me. Looks like that's it. Got to go. So we have got the final stage of that to do. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think we will leave things off there. But next time, I think we have got an ending to things. 
We have got an ending to our archaeological dig. We have got an ending to Dragonborn. We have got an ending to Merak. And we have got an ending to Skyrim as well because this series is coming to a close. It's been a great series. I've had great fun with it. But I feel like it is probably time to wrap things up. And sure, I could like, you know, go back to the base game and try and find all of Azra's staffs. And I could probably do a burglary job and get myself made Guildmaster of the Thieves Guild and apparently I need to collect more Crimson Nin roots and technically I haven't actually retrieved Nettlebane yet and diddly diddly dee. But I think, uh, no. I think it is probably time to draw things to a close and I cannot think of a better way to kick off the finale than by finishing up an archaeological dig that I myself funded. That seems pretty flipping badass. So, Join me next time for the end, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John Spend many a true nerd, and this has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So apparently, even though this thing is... Oh, no, no, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we... Oh! I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead.